Hey, Double Eagle! Last week we talked about finding Earth-like planets in space, and you made your own planet. This week we're going to talk about how we could get to such a planet by traveling through space. In order to escape Earth's gravity, we have to be able to go really fast. We also have to be able to keep going fast in space where there's no air. Airplanes need air for their propellers or jet engines to use, so airplanes wouldn't be fast enough to get to space. We need a rocket engine. A rocket engine has oxygen in with its fuel, so it can keep going even in space. And rocket engines can go really fast, fast enough to escape Earth's gravity. When a rocket engine burns its fuel, there's only one way for those burning gases to go outside the back of the rocket. That force out the back of the rocket pushes the rocket forward. I'm going to demonstrate how this works with a Lego train car and a balloon. What do you think will happen when we let the air out of the balloon? There's only one way for it to go, and that's out the back. And so that air going out the back will push the train forward. You can also see this force at work with jet skis or squids. Both of them take water in and push it out really fast with a motor to make themselves go forward. One potential problem with rocket engines is that they can be hard to control. If they start to wobble just a little bit, then that changes the direction that the force out the back is going. That little wobble can create big changes in where the rocket is going. Space rockets have computers that can change the direction the rocket is facing out the back so that it keeps going the right way. Rockets also use fins to help stabilize them. The air pushes against the fins to help keep the rocket pointed in the same direction. I want you to be able to see the effect of rocket fins for yourself. So for our STEM activity today, we're going to make two rockets, one with fins and one without, and you can see which one works better. You are going to need a pair of scissors, four pieces of paper, a pencil, and some tape. Pause the video and go get your materials so that you can follow along with me. You got everything? Good. First, we're going to make the launcher. Take one of your pieces of paper and lay your pencil across the long side of the paper. Then roll your paper tightly around the pencil. The pencil will come out in the end. It's just there to give us the right size and shape. Roll your paper nice and tight, even if it takes a few tries, but not so tight that you can't get the pencil out. Then use about three pieces of tape to seal up your tube. Then we'll make two rockets. For the first one, take another piece of paper and roll it around your launcher. This will make sure it has a nice snug fit around the launcher, but can still slide off when it's time to make it fly. Tape it just like the first one. Push the launcher out and set that to the side. Then we'll flatten one end of our rocket and seal it shut. This will be the nose of the rocket, where the air will push to make the rocket go, so seal it real well with a few pieces of tape. We can launch the rockets by putting them partway on the launcher, tilting them partway up, and then blowing hard on one end. Just watch out that you don't launch them at people, pets, or things that could get broken. You can have a nice wide open space. If you need to go outside, that's a great place to launch rockets. Pause the video and go try your first rocket a few times and observe how it flies. Then when you come back, we'll make another one that's even better. Okay, that was pretty good. But did you notice that sometimes at the end of its flight, the rocket started to wobble and then kind of just fell? Let's see if we can improve that. Make a second rocket the same way. Roll a piece of paper around the launcher and tape it and then tape the top shut. But this time we're going to add some fins. Fold your last piece of paper in half and then in half again so you have four layers. Draw a triangle right in the middle here. I'm trying to make it like a real rocket's fin so I made it a long triangle. But you can try a different shape if you want. But know that we're going to turn part of this edge into a flap so don't make it too skinny. Now cut the triangle out and you will have four fins you can tape on. Fold down part of the long edge of the fin to make a flap so it's easier to tape on. I added four fins to mine, but two or three fins would also help it fly better if you want to try that. I needed about one piece of tape for each side of each fin. Make sure you evenly space the fins around the body of the rocket. Now that you have two rockets, I want you to try them both and see which one flies better. You can compare how far they fly and how much they wobble. Then I want you to take a picture of your two rockets, circle the one that flew better, and share it with your class. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep building.